What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. We are here at the greenhouse, like always, chilling next to our homie Cosmo here. This is our big male Spilotes. He's uh, kind of hungry right now and a little bit grumpy, so not going to mess with him too much. We're going to feed him here in a little bit. But anyways, uh, we are filming on a different camera today. We got some new camera gear, some new mics, everything, because we are preparing for our trip to Suriname. We're going to go live in the jungle for a couple weeks in kayaks and hammocks, and it's going to be wild. So make sure you are subscribed to the channel so you don't miss awesome content like that and awesome stuff with the greenhouse. But anyways, with the new camera gear, uh, let me know how it looks. The misters just turned on. But uh, let me know how everything looks. Do you like this wide angle lens? Gives you kind of a better perspective of the greenhouse? Or do you like our other camera? Would you rather us keep filming with that? Let me know. But anyways, uh, Cosmo's following me to this side of the tree now. <laughs> but we're gonna jump into today's video. Today's video is about UV in the greenhouse. UVB specifically for the reptiles. So for those that don't know, UVB is very important for reptiles. Most of you that keep reptiles probably already know this, but UVB is important for reptiles to properly synthesize vitamin D3, which helps with absorption of calcium so they don't get metabolic bone disease. So basically it is essential for reptiles. I'm not gonna keep going over it though, cause there's a bunch of way better videos explaining it than the one I'm about to make. So if you wanna know the details of why UVB is important, just look it up. You'll find a bunch of stuff about it, but no, that it is important. So where we messed up with the greenhouse was we thought that UVB would penetrate the greenhouse. I did a bunch of research on it. I'm not gonna go way into detail, but basically the greenhouse is made with polyethylene film, which should let UV and stuff pass through. I looked up studies on UV penetration through polyethylene, but what I didn't take into account is the companies that make this specific film for greenhouses put chemicals in it to block UV and it protects the film basically, makes it last a lot longer. So. I didn't take that into account that this film literally blocks all UV. So what we did is we bought a UVB meter, a solar meter that tests UVB in Ferguson zones specifically for reptiles. So this is what we give our baseline off in the hobby basically. So you can see out here, there is a, I don't know, five point something rating. And then if we go inside, we get a, Nice big hefty zero or maybe a 0.1, if that. So definitely not suitable for reptiles. So that was a mistake on our part. And I just wanna say real quick too, that uh, this was all figured out months ago. I've just been really procrastinating putting out a video on it. So sorry guys, I'm slow to that. But uh, we have solved the issue and we're gonna talk about how we solved it more in the future. We got a bunch of lights at different basking zones. But today we're gonna specifically talk about one of the lights we got that was sent to us by Exoterra. All right, so if we look right here past the female's floaties, you can see the product I'm talking about, and that is Exoterra's Terra Sky UVB LED lights. So this is a product I was pretty excited to try. But one thing I do wanna say, I don't typically do brand deals. I don't go try to find brand deals. I don't really care for my channel to be an advertisement for a bunch of products, but this is something that I wanted to try regardless. I probably would have bought these with my own money, even if Terra, or Exoterra didn't send them to me, but luckily Exoterra reached out told me to test them out and put a video out on it or asked if I'd be interested. I said yes, but I told them, fair warning, I'm gonna say whatever I feel like is the truth. I'm not gonna hype them up and make them sound better than they are. And they said, cool, do it, put out a video. So I respect that a lot. They gave me full creative control over this and didn't try to sway me one way or the other. So let's get into it and I'll tell you exactly how I feel about these. We also have a second one mounted up here and we have been testing these now for, I believe two or three months. So I have a pretty good idea how I feel about them. I would love to get one down and show you guys, but <laughs> they're kind of a pain to get mounted in here and I wanna leave them alone where they're at. But basically they're an LED strip with adjustable mounts on the side. The cool thing about them is they're completely waterproof. So you can mount them inside vivariums and stuff like that. I think that is gonna be super useful for people. And the cool thing is they're the first UVB LED on the market. So before this, there has been no LED versions that can produce UVB light. It's all been fluorescent tubes, which is kind of the industry standard. And uh, I really wanted to try UVs in here, be or LEDs in here, because I they don't produce heat, they're waterproof. So for the greenhouse, that makes a lot of sense. Oh my gosh, Mr. Turn on every time I'm trying to film a video. I keep forgetting to turn them off. But uh, yeah, they're waterproof, which is great, obviously. 
But yeah, I really want to try them out. Uh, it's not our main source of UVB. We have other lights in here that we'll talk about more in future videos, but as a supplemental source for specific basking zones, these have really worked out pretty good for me. I'm pretty happy with them. They come with this little remote here that has all the settings. It has, what does it have? So UVA, UVB, and white light that are all adjustable and have different settings. Obviously the UVB light, you can't really see. The UVA is like little purple lights you can kind of see, but you still can't really tell how much it's putting out unless you have a solar meter. So that's one thing I would be skeptical of in your vivariums and stuff. If you guys don't have solar meters, I'd be kind of nervous to have these too high in smaller vivariums and be giving animals too much UV. So I would recommend if you are gonna get these to get a solar meter, but really solar meters are good to have with any UV lights. You can test the longevity of your bulbs and everything. So I would recommend everybody get one anyways. But yeah, I would want to use one of these lights in smaller cages. But they also have cycle settings. So you can set it to eight, 12 or 14 hour cycles, I believe. Yes. And then they have moon lights. They have all these presets down here and then you can make custom presets up here, which is pretty cool. I will say in the past, I've used some lights on aquariums that run off little remotes like these. And I typically am not a fan of the whole remote thing. I would much rather have a light that's driven with an app or something like that. But if they did that, I'm sure these would be a lot more expensive than they are. So they probably did this as a very functional way to make it affordable, which I can respect that. And uh, I normally don't like the preset timer modes on things with remotes like this, because when the power goes out in the past, they failed me. I'm not saying that specifically with these lights, but like if the power goes out for three hours, I don't know if it's gonna throw it off. So I normally use my own timers, but these plugs are pretty big. And in here I have all these weatherproof outlets and they don't fit the plugs plus the timer. So I have been using the preset ones and they've been working for me so far. So haven't had any issues, got nothing bad to say about that. So, so far everything is working great. All right, so basically pros and cons are pros. They're affordable. They're fully waterproof. They don't produce a ton of heat like the other fluorescent bulbs. And they, so far from my testing, are fully functional. But the problem with UVB is there's just not a way for me to gauge that it is or is it helping the animals, you know? We're kind of trusting the product. So that's why the solar meter is important. I know I'm at least getting the right levels of UVB, but I can't, I'm not gonna lie to you guys and say I've noticed a difference in the animal's behavior or anything, I haven't. I basically just mounted them at basking spots where I know the lizards like to hang out a lot as supplemental UV, and it seems to be working great for that. So the cons are that I'm not really big into the little remote deal. I would rather have something that's more controllable from a phone, but I understand to make it affordable. It's the remote that works good. And then uh, I don't like that they only come in one size so far. So I think they may have plans for this in the future to change it. I'm not 100% sure, but I would like much bigger ones, especially for in here. Like a 12 inch LED strip doesn't do me a lot of good in this giant greenhouse, but in smaller vivariums, I see how they could be very practical. But multiple sizes would be much better to see in the future. Yeah, so really overall, I am super happy with them. I think they are gonna have some great uses in vivariums and stuff. But as always, do your own research, guys. And huge shout out to Exoterra for sending me these. I will say this is the first brand I've worked with on anything and I've turned down quite a few. But Exoterra really is a super reputable brand that actually puts work into making good products. So I don't mind supporting them. I got no issue with that. I probably would have bought these regardless of this with my own money. And honestly, I'm probably gonna buy a couple more to add in smaller basking spots. And then in future videos, we'll talk about what I'm doing in my main massive basking spots in the greenhouse. But make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Make sure you guys go check out these lights if you're interested in something like this. And thank you for watching. As always, much appreciated. The animals love it. I love it. Thank you.